Welcome back to my channel. Uh, for, for today's video, we'll be converting the ROG3 into global version from the China version. So, uh, bear in mind after the conversion, all of your apps will be deleted and even your pictures and everything will be totally erased. Also, right after the conversion, you won't be able to receive uh, over-the-air updates, system updates. So all your updates will be done manually. So you'll have to download it uh, through their website and install it manually to your phone. So if you're okay with that, let's continue with the process. First things first, uh, you'll have to log out from your account. So click Accounts, and then your account and remove account see so once that's removed go to your screen lock and fingerprint so be sure there's no screen lock no fingerprint setup so everything is turned off and back to default then go to your about phone go to your software information then click on build number as you can see it still says CN that's China click on this about seven times after you click on that there will be a message under that you are now a developer so go back back go to system updates system updates and you'll see a developer options over there so click on that scroll until you see USB debugging so be sure that is turned on so once that's turned on and you have logged out from all of your accounts you can now proceed to power off your phone so I, I will be included in uh, notepad instructions on the things will be needed things that's needed is over here and the directions will be over here okay so all of the files you'll be needing will be on the description below so you, you don't have to worry about that so as soon as you're ready uh, you'll have to flash the global version of two thousand seven point thirty two. So the description below will will have the file. This is it. As soon as you have the file, so if I just extracted the file to to desktop. I made a folder uh, ww wrong tree. So I extracted all the files here. So as you can see it's all there. So we now turn on the phone again by pressing the power and the volume up button. So power, volume up, hold it until you see that. Okay, get your USB type C. Don't connect it under, connect it at the side. Be sure it's on the black port and not on the red port. Okay, so just connect it. You will hear your computer make a sound. So from there, uh, go to the start menu, right click on that, go to device manager. So make sure there's no errors here, no exclamation points or question marks. So if your device manager looks like this, that means all the drivers have been successfully installed. So, as you can see, it's on the bootloader interface. So, in, in case you have an error there, it, you might not have the this one, the minimal ADB installed on your computer. So, I'll le leave the description below it's here in the notepad. So, you have to install this first. As soon as you install this minimal ADB and it's already here, then you can proceed to flashing your firmware. So as soon as that's finished, 
and we're ready. If you remember, on if you have a ROG 2, you just double click on flash all underscore AFT. But for ROG 3, that won't be possible. So we'll just have to go under. So as you can see, there are files down here that you will need to double click. So it's just double click on this one. It says ZS61KS Rock Flash All. So double click on this one and as you can see on my phone here so you can see the status on my phone just double click on that okay wait for it to finish then you'll, ha you'll be seeing an error on your phone it will be saying something like the the software is incompatible with the device so just leave it because the ROM is still flashing so let's just wait for it so again this is at your own risk uh, if you want to do this don't hold me responsible for any of what happened or whatever happens to your phone just follow my instructions and everything should go well so as you can see it says finished and my phone's just all black just wait for it as you can see it says here installation unsuccessful firmware is incompatible with this device but as you can see on the computer it's still flashing so we just leave it just leave it until your device restarts. So this will take more or less about 5 to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your computer. So don't t just don't turn off your phone or be sure it has enough battery before flashing I would suggest you fully charge your phone before doing this step to avoid any errors so just leave it like that let's wait until the phone restarts and as soon as it restarts it should have the global version installed already So let's just wait for it. Uh, this will take about 10 minutes. So we'll just pause the video first and get back to you as soon as the next screen shows up. All right. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there's still something happening. It took about 10 minutes. So just don't touch your phone. Your phone will be turning black and restart. So whatever happens, just leave it. Don't touch your phone until it fully reboots. This the pro the whole process will take up for me it took about 10 minutes. So when this starts, it should be on the global firmware already. So bear in mind that doing the old version, if you're following my old video and you're flashing it using that video, you'll end up breaking your device. So if you're using a ROG 3 like mine, you have to follow this video. So as you can see so right now, it's uh, on the global version. So let's just uh, skip everything first. Let's just skip everything so that we can proceed. So 
skip, skip anyway, skip, then let's go next, skip, confirm, confirm, close. Okay, so as you can see right now, let's go into settings. If you swipe right on the Chinese version, you'll see a Chinese app. So right now, as you can see, it's all, you'll have a Chinese app over here. But if you go to settings and then system, about phone, here, down here, as you can see, we're already on the global firmware. And if you go to themes, on the Chinese app, themes are working. But when you click on my themes, this word up here is on Chinese. So right now, as you can see, it's all in English. You also have a theme store which is not available on the Chinese app, the theme store. You'll have my themes, wallpapers, and slideshow, but for now you'll have the everything. Okay, uh, what are the downsides? First of all, uh, first downside, you won't be able to do, let's say, uh, over-the-air updates, only manual updates. Also, one downside is if you look on your notification center, is it says here, you'll you'll have this notification here, hard hardware stub service. So if you click on that, it will. The installed firmware does not match the device origin. Please note that you may not receive FOTA updates. So th this is because. Uh, you you flash the global firmware on this, so you won't be able to receive uh, here on system updates. You won't be able to receive a FOTA update, but you will still be able to do manual updates. If you really want to fully convert it, as in same as this is just a this is just flashing the raw file, but if you want to fully convert it to change the, the actual fingerprint to, to WW. Uh, watch my next video after this and we'll continue where I left off, okay? So let's check first the armory crate, if it changed. So as you can see, armory crate has now changed. It's same as the global armory crate. So your console's over here. You have your settings over here. You can change your temperature unit to Celsius. So, as you can see, everything is now on the global version. So, for contacts, except for this folder, but you can just easily take out like the contacts over here. Sound recorder, move it here, and as you can see, so everything's in English. Even the weather is now working. So this is the only downside of this. Uh, hopefully when we change the fingerprint to WW, but by doing that you will have to unlock the bootloader. Same process, go to root explorer download magic and after doing all that and change the fingerprint to ww that is only when you will be able to hopefully remove the hardware stop services so on my next video i'll be doing that right after this video so stay tuned and i hope you watch the next video thank you guys so much and uh, i hope you subscribe and share this video and Please watch my next video after this, okay? So, until next time, bye.